Hello everyone, I'm Gordon Gumira, Supply Manager at Swiss Media Serbia. It's a great pleasure to be here today. Uh, this is my first time at Wikimania, so please be kind. <laughs> and I wanted to let you know that this session will have a special place uh, in my mind because it's my first time and I hope that it's not the last. Um, uh, during this Wikipedia and in residence in the Battlefield Cultural Heritage session, uh, you will hear a little bit about the development of Wikimedia Serbia GLAM program, but the main focus will be the project um, with the help of which we, we entered the center of many cultural institutions, uh, digitized numerous content that would today be hidden in the archives out of the reach of the public. Of course, it is about Wikipedia and residents. And as much as I'm happy to, to uh, tell you uh, a bit more about these activities, I'm really sorry that I did not have the opportunity to join live and hold this session uh, in an interactive way. But I would really like to ask you to contact me for all questions, recommendations, suggestions, maybe even criticism, why not? <laughs> I will, I will be, be happy to, to read all of these things and to connect with you and uh, uh, talk to you a little bit more about some wiki projects, maybe it's Wikipedia in residence, maybe some other projects that we can uh, work together to, uh, on and to join forces and make Wikimedia projects even better. So please contact me. I will be more than happy to uh, talk to you about all of these things. Uh, for today, as I said, I have prepared several topics of which the focus will, of course, be a um, Wikipedia and residence project. But today we will talk about Wikimedia Serbia, its development and where it is today. Uh, the GLAM program, which I coordinate, <laughs> uh, the most important activities of GLAM and what I encounter every day. Uh, Maybe these topics are not the main topics we will talk to, uh, about today, but I think they are crucial to talk about because uh, we uh, had to go through some things and some development uh, for making conditions uh, to realize some projects uh, as great as the Wikipedia in residence. For the, the third topic, of course, is Wikipedia in residence, in which we'll, uh, I will uh, talk uh, the most about. And please, again, if you have any questions, please contact me. I will be more than happy to, to answer it and to talk with you about that. Uh, uh, in uh, this topic, I will introduce you to the challenges we have faced over the years. And maybe, I hope so, I will help you to approach cultural institutions and show you how to monitor uh, someone's work or work of the Wikipedia in residence. Uh, of course, we will talk about what is most important in this project and how we can prevent some problems, solve some challenges and use the best of opportunities. Uh, for the last topic, conclusions, I will leave you the, the um, most important things. I will be happy if you uh, remember or if you uh, get to know after this session. So let's start. Our first topic for today is uh, Wikimedia Serbia. Uh, we will talk about when it was created, how it developed, where it is today, and of course how the, the conditions for the realization of projects such as Wikipedia in residence, and many others we do every day were created. And hello, <laughs> this is us with our uh, wonderful volunteers, without whom we would not be what we are today. I'm very nostalgic when I uh, look at this photo because this is one of uh, the last of our uh, big gatherings. Uh, this is Wikiman uh, Wikilive, sorry, in 2019, and um, we really hope uh, that we will be able to, to meet uh, soon offline, <laughs> not just to, to be behind this um, 
laptops or, or desktops. And um, we are really nostalgic for, for gatherings and for getting to, to talk to each other. But uh, luckily there are some uh, conferences like this one and, and online gatherings that we practice and we at least can hear each other and see on the picture <laughs> or on the video. So I will present you some uh, timeline of Wikimedia Serbia and uh, these years are very important for our development because uh, Wikimedia Serbia was founded in 2005. Uh, our first office uh, was in 2012. So it was like seven years later and we really went through a, a relatively long period of development. Uh, we had various intents, we had various projects, uh, team members, and uh, I hope we finally came to the, some optimal formula <laughs> of team. Uh, but really we are uh, trying to, to be better by every day and uh, maybe Good now we are trying to do uh, even better by working every every day so uh, these two years are really important for Wikimedia Serbia and uh, I just wanted to show you that there were uh, uh, there were uh, many years uh, in between when it was founded and when Wikipedia in, uh, Wikipedia in Residence project has started in 2014 that um, has passed. So, uh, at the moment, uh, our team consists of six board members and four staff members or employees. And um, it may sound like a cliche, but we, we really carefully nurture the importance of interpersonal relationships. And uh, because of that, together, um, we achieve the set of goals and missions over time. So uh, I can uh, really say that I'm so happy to be at Wikimedia Serbia because I, I feel uh, my every work day is uh, really great and it's so great to work with, with this team and to work on this activity. And uh, it's Wikimedia movement is generally a place that uh, it's a great to be. So, not to be too emotional, but within Wikimedia Serbia, uh, three programs are implemented. Uh, the educational program, GLAM program, and the community support pro program. Uh, my colleagues are in charge of the ADU and community program, and it's my honor to lead the GLAM program of uh, Wikimedia Serbia. And, I will show you how we uh, glam it. Uh, I wanted just to say that even if we are in charge for our programs, we uh, all, I mean, work together, help each other, and it's really uh, a great place to, to be. So, glam. Uh, officially, the glam program uh, of Wikimedia Serbia started with the Open Glam Conference in February 2012. Uh, in this way, the cooperation with cultural institutions and institutions of importance for, for culture uh, began to take place within a separate program in order to, to, in order to increase the focus of, focus of activities. So, um, the mission of GLAM, as well as of the entire Wiki world, is free knowledge, but by... Um, uh, separating the GLAM as an individual program, we really get a more focus on culture and uh, better results and uh, we are really proud of what we have achieved in these uh, soon to be 10 years. So, through cooperation with, with um, cultural institutions, we perform various activities with the um, aim of increasing the, the digital cultural heritage. Uh, we also uh, are working on increasing the quality of the content that is uh, posted. So uh, 
we don't post anything like uh, we are really trying to post the best version of some content of some material and to uh, post really really quality content on this project uh, also we are working on training employees in the institutions of culture so they could be able to work um, by the them, by themselves on wiki projects after our activities are done so we will talk a little bit later about that but it's a really important thing uh, of the glance and how do we uh, make cooperation with uh, institutions of culture uh, through of course some models of cooperation that have been tested for years and as you can see, there are edited files with digitization, QRpedia, QR code, uh, Wikipedia and in residence, and of course, content release. So, these are the different types of cooperation that we adapt to the cultural institution individually. And with one cultural institution, uh, institution we can do, and we do, uh, realize several models of cooperation depending on the current opportunities, possibilities, and needs. So, we approach cultural institutions with a personalized approach and we want to provide the possibility of cooperation that would cover uh, current needs. So, every institution of culture, we uh, first have a period of, of getting to know each other and what uh, each other needs, so then we uh, decide what is the best way to uh, make some cooperation. Uh, there are so many things that we have done in Wikimedia Serbia since 2005, but also in GLAM program since it's almost uh, soon to be 10 years, but um, we are, uh, I um, listed some of the most important statistics of the GLAM. So, uh, during this soon to be 10 years uh, of the existence of the GLAM in Wikimedia Serbia, uh, we have overcame many challenges, achieved many successes, and um, we tried and we are trying every day to be an example in the digitalization of cultural heritage. Uh, unfortunately, in Serbia and uh, maybe in many other countries, but digitalization uh, was not a priority a few years ago. Today, I must say that it is a better uh, situation, but also it's uh, really, really uh, not the best. And I can say that GLAM program of Wikimedia Serbia was one of the first programs that uh, which a focus on digitalization of cultural heritage. So there are many examples we are proud of, but uh, I think these numbers are really, really good and really uh, nice things to, 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 um, to tell. So uh, we, we have uh, almost 11,000 uh, digital files on Wikimedia Commons. Uh, they are, as I said, on Wikimedia Commons and are free to use under Creative Commons uh, licenses. Uh, we have over 1,000 books and catalogs of cultural institutions and over 3,000 written and improved articles on Wikipedia in the field of culture alone. So far, we have also achieved cooperation with 50 institutions and we are trying to bring um, diversity to, to cooperation. Thus, we have established cooperation with many uh, plan institutions like the galleries, libraries, archives, and museums, of course, but also theaters, botanical garden, some cultural centers, um, media houses, some maybe artists association as, as well as general institutions that are really important for culture. So uh, we are not. Um, it's not our goal to to cooperate only with galleries, libraries, archives, and museums, but to, to every institution that is important for, for culture and that can help to improve digital uh, cultural heritage. So that is our important and that uh, 
is the, the thing that we work on every single day. Um, so, uh, very, very important step in the development of GLAM program of Wikimedia Serbia is the beginning of cooperation with the Ministry of Culture and Information. How did it start? So, uh, the vice president of Wikimedia Serbia, Dan, uh, received an email uh, from the newly formed Department for, for uh, Development of Digital Research Infrastructure in the field of uh, culture, uh, of Ministry of Culture and Information of Republic of Serbia, uh, about what is GLAM and can we meet and discuss the possibilities of cooperation. Of course, we were thrilled and uh, we, we have met back uh, back then and in 2017 and uh, by then that date <laughs> it was like a game changer date for us because uh, we got opportunity to, to uh, make cooperation with uh, many more in, uh, cultural institutions in Serbia because when uh, you have a, a, a Ministry of Culture as a partner you have um, great credibility for institution of culture in Serbia. So uh, it was a game ch changer for us. And in cooperation with them, uh, we organized two seminars uh, where we trained representatives of, of, cultural, of cultural institutions on wiki projects. And uh, we uh, teach them of the ways of editing and independent use of projects. So uh, this, as I said, opened the door to many collaborations and uh, uh, spread the word about the GLAM program and Wikimedia Serbia. So um, we got um, uh, also we got uh, financial support uh, for realizing uh, Wikipedia in residence projects, but also we got uh, support for uh, general our project because of the importance of digitalization of. Uh, cultural heritage. On those seminars uh, we held with Ministry of Culture, uh, were, there were more than 100 representatives of uh, cultural institutions, so uh, that opened many doors for us. Uh, and after all of this introduction and the story of the development without which the realization of this project would not be possible, we came to the main topic of this session, Wikipedia in residence. But also, I would like to uh, tell you again that uh, it was really important to, to uh, talk a bit about Wikimedia Serbia and about the GLAM program and about support of Ministry of Culture for uh, our activities, because without that, I'm not sure that um, realization of Wikipedia residence would be possible for for uh, Wikipedia, Serbia, Wikimedia Serbia. So uh, uh, it was really important to talk about these things first and now we can focus uh, on uh, Wikipedia in residence. So uh, Wikipedia in residence as uh, many of you probably know, but if there are uh, some newcomers here, uh, Wikimedia in Residence is project, um, a global project of cooperation with GLAM cultural institutions like galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. And uh, it has been implemented worldwide for many years. Um, the idea of this program is in two-way cooperation with cultural institutions which are assigned uh, an experienced Wikipedia editor for a certain period of time in order to work on increasing the content on wiki projects in the field of cultural and historical heritage that, that is important for that uh, particular, particular uh, cultural institution. So everything that is done is done with uh, cooperation with them and with their knowledge and their approval. So, 
the goal is for the uh, Wikipedian in residence to help the uh, institutional culture in digitizing the materials that would uh, then be on Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, Wikidata, Wikitourist, or uh, any other uh, relevant wiki project. Then to train employees to edit wiki projects on their own, to help them uh, write articles about the institution and to post numerous uh, materials under the, the, the protection of institution. So uh, the aim goal of the Wikipedian in residence is to uh, help employees to really understand the importance of wiki projects, then to uh, digitize important, uh, important things for uh, uh, their region. It's, uh, when you cooperate with some museum, uh, you do not cooperate only with, <laughs> with them, uh, you uh, digitize the, the heritage of that whole region. So it's really nice to see when uh, some Wikipedia in residence project is done that you uh, completed like the circle of, of uh, most important things that uh, need to be known about cultural and historical things about some regions, some culture, some traditions. So it's really, really important to uh, make a circle about all the activities that are done. And um, we talked about what is uh, Wikipedian in residence project in general, but I would like to tell you about uh, some activities that Wikipedian in residence is doing <laughs> while uh, being a Wikipedian in residence. So uh, he, as I said many times, uh, digitize various materials as books, photographs, postcards, some documents, uh, many, many things. For example, in the last uh, project we had with Museum of Rudnik and Takovo region, uh, Wikipedia in residence digitized uh, 30 books and catalogs of the museum, which is really, really great things because some of the books had more than 300 pages, but uh, it was really important to them and uh, they needed help in digitalization. So uh, having us and posting that in Wikimedia Commons uh, was really, really important thing for them. By that, we, we posted uh, uh, 700 more uh, things in Wikimedia Commons, but like, uh, 30 books and catalogs are, were, were, were and are a great, great thing. So when uh, the Wikipedian in the residence digitize uh, that content, uh, they upload it on uh, Wikimedia Commons, Wikimedia Source, or any other Wiki project under Creative Commons licenses. So, uh, a Wikipedian in residence is working on increasing the content of Wikipedia and other uh, wiki projects according to the agreed topics and the available literature in the institution. Uh, they also uh, organize and hold workshops on editing Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons for employees of cultural institutions. As I said earlier, that is really important thing because the employees are uh, then available. Uh, they are um, they know how to edit wiki projects after the project is done, so uh, they are um, ready to to improve the the uh, content about their cultural institutions on Wikipedia on daily basis. Uh, I must say that under this. COVID-19 conditions, uh, those trainee, uh, trainings are, um, uh, were not as, uh, um, uh, were not as, uh, were not in every Wikipedia in residence project because of the epidemiological situation. 
uh, we provide uh, in this COVID-19 uh, situation uh, for Wikipedia and residents uh, a possibility uh, to work remote. Uh, maybe as it's a bit harder to um, uh, uh, control the, their work, but we, as I said, uh, choose very uh, um, good Wikipedia residents. Uh, we know that they are capable of doing that, and it's not as uh, a difficult thing to do. But uh, uh, we provided them uh, that possibility of remote work. That means that a uh, Wikipedian in residence is uh, physically going in the institution of culture uh, by the need. That means they uh, go to the institution to uh, get some material, to scan something, to digitize something, uh, to have a meeting maybe with, with anyone, but uh, they can post and edit content uh, on Wiki projects at their home. So we really pay attention to uh, epidemiological situation in Serbia and we had uh, the, the um, uh, uh, we had the, the uh, last year uh, the thing that the uh, institution of culture was closed for a few days because of the epidemiological situation and of course Wikipedia and residents uh, were still working because they had uh, many content to work on and uh, many of the things were digitized and they had a literature, they had uh, uh, things to, to edit, to post in Wikimedia Commons, so they had uh, many activities to do. Because of that thing, they go uh, occasionally on, on uh, in uh, institutional culture and they uh, collect the content uh, for some period of time. So that is the new thing that we had uh, in Wikipedia and in residence. We really hope that situation will uh, be better soon, so we, we all go back to the office. But um, by then we are doing, uh, I think, what is best for the epidemiological situation. So. Uh, we are, as I said, uh, making uh, a training for employees, or, but also uh, Wikipedia in residence is a link between Wikimedia Serbia and the cultural institutions. And it's really important because uh, by that way, it can suggest uh, some improvement of uh, uh, cooperation Maybe they see that uh, it's a better need of a content release or digitization or editathon or uh, any uh, model of cooperation that exists. But by being a Wikipedia in residence, they can actually see uh, better than us. Uh, I would also like to, to um, show you uh, two uh, most important steps in achieving a successful Wikipedia in residence project. They are logical, but we have to talk about that and how we are doing that. So, first step is a selection of cultural institutions for cooperation. This step can be very challenging. Um, to begin with, uh, we choose a potential uh, cultural institutions for cooperation. Um, this step can be on our initiative, uh, it can be someone's recommendation or the cultural institution can be the first to contact us for some kind of cooperation, but then we see that it is the best to, to uh, have Wikipedia in residence, so uh, the new cooperation is born. But uh, after we choose uh, on any way, uh, the institution of culture, uh, we, determine, uh, we determine the degree, the level of coverage of topics uh, on wiki projects. Uh, those are topics which uh, we could potentially process with this cooperation, particularly uh, Wikipedia and residents. So if the topics are represented on wiki projects, we offer another type of cooperation, if possible, uh, that potentially would suit 
If they are not, which in many cases happens, we present the projects to them. Uh, by projects, I mean Wikipedia and Residence, and start pl planning the, the implementation. So, when choosing the cultural institution with which we cooperate, uh, we try to be decentralized and that our activities are not based only in the capital of Serbia, uh, capital city of Serbia, Belgrade, but throughout the whole country. It's often the, the case that cultural institutions in the surrounding places do not have the funds or other opportunities to independently initiate such activity as digitalization. So uh, cooperation with us is like a, a great first step for that. And they are um, even mo motivated after that to, to uh, make their own activities, to continue to edit wiki projects and to uh, just do uh, something more uh, um, according to 2021 time uh, uh, things. So uh, we are really trying to show them how important the digitalization is. And uh, I hope that many institutions and many people um, got to know how important is it to have something on the online, on the internet, on the Wikipedia, uh, when you're locked in your home uh, for days, uh, like we, I think, all experienced in the COVID-19, uh, and how uh, necessary today is it to be online on Wikipedia, on Wikiproject. So, maybe it will be easier. <laughs> And of course, the second step, which is also extremely important, is to uh, select a right Wikipedian in residence. So, as I said, this step is extremely important because that person will be engaged for one or more months in the work of um, cultural institutions. Um, they will be a direct representative of Wikimedia Serbia and uh, also the degree of work and commit, co commitment of them uh, directly affects the, the performance. Um, that person must be reliable, must be familiar with the content of the cultural institutions, uh, must have the ability co to communicate well in business as um, maybe funny as it sounds, but it's really, really important. And of course, it must understand the, the uh, importance of the project and dedicate uh, themselves to the project activities. Because we are doing with all of our hearts our activities and we uh, also expect of Wikipedia and residents to love uh, the activities that they are doing and to do them on the right way. Uh, when we choose uh, cultural institutions, we check if we have a suitable volunteer in the database uh, who would be interested and whose interest uh, correspond to his, to this project. So, if we have it, we contact them and um, we continue negotiation with them. And in case we don't have them in our database, uh, we announce a public uh, call for Wikipedia and residents and based on their work experience, their CV, and of course with uh, the conversation we have, uh, we choose the person who is uh, the most suitable. Uh, now we will talk about some things that we have learned uh, with our Wikipedia in residence throughout the years. And I would call them tips and tricks <laughs> for successful projects and uh, uh, um, for having a great Wikipedia in residence uh, thing. Um, I would suggest you to pay attention to this because we, we have learned uh, many of these things on uh, maybe hard way, but uh, you um, can uh, avoid that and listen to us and have a, a successful Wikipedia in residence uh, without making some mistakes. So, first up, Wikipedia page, content and equipment. 
it's necessary to keep a precise record of everything done on Wikipedia project page, because that page presents the results of the uh, complete work on this project. Uh, it's uh, retained on Wikipedia and later serves as a presentation to partners and other, and other interested parties. Um, for example, on that project page, everyone anytime can can uh, watch, can look, can inform the, the, the their thoughts what it is uh, done by now and how far the Wikipedia residence has, has gone and everything must be on the Wikipedia project page. We suggest the Wikipedia residence to uh, update it on a daily basis. So, of course, that is practical, uh, some practical advice for, for future Wikipedians in residence, and we tell them to update it every day after the job is done. So, if possible, uh, uh, of course, <laughs> that has happened if possible, but uh, by that, uh, the, the job that has been done will be done in um, easier way and you will not forget uh, anything that you, you have been doing and it will have the, the precise record of everything you have done uh, as a Wikipedia in residence. So, uh, the Wikipedia page is the first thing, uh, first thing they are doing uh, in uh, this project and uh, they are doing it uh, to the last day of the project. And of course, the Wikipedia in residence selects materials for, for digitization and release together with the representative of the institution where the uh, project is performed. So, uh, some, some um, criteria for materials uh, must be um, uh, um, uh, done <laughs> uh, on these projects and uh, uh, every content, content must have encyclopedic value because wiki projects are encyclopedic projects and m everything must have uh, its encyclopedic value and of course uh, also uh, they have to be useful value they have to have useful value on wiki projects uh, so, for example, when choosing the material, one should always uh, uh, be guided by the question, is this necessary for the encyclopedia and where uh, it could go, for example. Uh, also, in order to Wikipedia and residence project to go smoothly, uh, uh, we suggest uh, and we do with Wikipedia and Residence before the, the project has started the list of uh, equipment needed to, to, uh, in this project. And we uh, provide them with uh, laptops, with maybe some uh, photography equipment and anything that is needed in this Wikipedia and in Residence project. Uh, one of the most important activities uh, is digitization. But before uh, the digitization starts, um, Wikipedia and residents should get uh, acquainted with the materials that will be scanned. So we uh, uh, um, we always say Wikipedia and residents that uh, they should consult with the director or employee appointed by the director for this project about what has already been digitized and what of it can be donated or posted to Wikimedia Commons under Creative Commons licenses. Uh, we also suggest to explore the archives and libraries of the institution and that everything that seems interesting should be written down. And then uh, check with uh, uh, check on Wikipedia if there are uh, titles or uh, on selected topics and if there are uh, extensive articles about them. But if not, to submit a list of articles to the director or employee for consultation and approval. After that, you can work on Wiki projects 
by improving that material on on uh, uh, with this project and <laughs> having a, a, a approval of the institution of culture uh, by itself. Photographing uh, ex uh, exhibitions in cultural institution is one of the easiest ta tasks for an Wikipedia new resident. Um, all they have to do is take a camera, <laughs> which we all have today on our phones, and uh, take photos of the exhibition. Although um, the uh, photographs on Wikimedia Commons should have an uh, educational value that that does not mean that the aesthetic value of the photograph itself is not important. Uh, they have to try to find the best angle for the photography. And many of the content we, we post on Wikimedia Commons are a photography of the exhibition at museum, for example. Uh, we have a few minutes left, so sorry for maybe uh, me being too uh, quick, but if you have any questions, uh, please contact me. Uh, when uploading a file to Wikimedia Commons, it's really important that the file name is well defined, as this increases the ability to find files on the uh, Wikimedia Commons and as well on the internet in general. So, uh, file names and file descriptions uh, work on the principle of keywords. So it is good to have um, as many words as possible that are directly related to the uh, scene uh, seen in the photo. Uh, metadata is the most important data when it comes to files and wiki projects. Um, they pr uh, provide a detailed description on the file and increase its visibility on wiki projects. Uh, when you talk about the keywords mentioned uh, uh, a little bit before. But um, every photo on Wikimedia Commons should have at least one category uh, when we are categorization. Uh, every photo should have at least one category in which it will be placed. So the people searching the Wikimedia Commons can more easily find a particular photo. Uh, the process of uploading photos requires this, so this is a mandatory thing. <laughs> but um, it's really, really uh, one of the most important things to do on Wikimedia Commons. Uh, on Wikipedia in Residence, we have special category for each uh, project, but um, also we uh, uh, say to Wikipedia in Residence that they must post other categories. Copyright. We all know about importance of co copyright uh, in every aspect of our lives. So, uh, photos and Wikimedia Commons are published under Creative Commons licenses. These licenses allow the owner of the author's uh, rights to, uh, to to protect their work, but at the same time, they allow the, the use of the work under certain conditions. These uh, conditions can also be uh, combined, so we. Uh, publish photos under Wikimedia Commons under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 unported license. Uh, that is, people can share and change a photo if they, um, um, on the way they want to, but uh, they must state who the author is and share it under the same uh, license. And play training, we talked about that. I'm sorry, but we have no time to, to talk about that again, but uh, make uh, employees uh, capable of uh, editing Wikipedia on their own and other wiki projects. We also have reports uh, that uh, Wikipedia, Wikipedia and residents write all the things important in their, uh, um, their projects, what they have done, if they had any problems. So everything is important is on that report. I, like, uh, as the coordinator of the project, is, uh, am checking uh, the report uh, every day, so I'm uh, really aware of the, the uh, activities that have been done. Uh, also, about the, the problems about uh, in work and ways uh, to solve them. 
Uh, it can happen that in cultural institutions, some of the employees and even someone from the management don't uh, understand the wiki pro project, but don't let this discourage you or Wikipedia in residence. In this place, uh, you have to uh, go under the, uh, they have the best intention, <laughs> but uh, do your job as professionally as possible and that will be the best indicator of the seriousness of our intentions, and that is to increase the visibility of our cultural heritage. So, uh, do your job as good as, as possible, and everything will be uh, done. And this is it our, of our Wikipedia in residence in the Battle for Cultural Heritage session. Please be kind and contact me for any question, any suggestion, anything you need. I'm uh, so happy that I've been able to present this Wikimania, but uh, really sorry for not being uh, uh, live to this session. But I hope we will have more opportunities to uh, be together, to talk together, and to uh, make uh, Wikimedia even Wikimedia projects even better. So thank you very much and goodbye.